Another holiday is upon us, Father's Day. A holiday that very rarely cracks the top 10. A holiday that has so few cartoon specials made about it. But there is one needle in the haystack of animation. That rusty needle comes in the form of the regular show episode titled Trucker Hall of Fame. Now this episode is so messed up when you dive into it. It gives backstory in a muscle man's life and gives reason as to why he is the way he is. It highlights mistakes made by his father, but also demonstrates a moment of forgiveness. But is forgiveness really justified in this situation? So the episode opens up with an excited muscle man calling out to his trucker dad over CB radio. He's trying to reach out to wish him a happy Father's Day. I assume that he likely doesn't get to see him much since truck drivers spend long periods on the road. He gets no answer on the CB and then his older brother, who is also a trucker, pulls up to his trailer. He comes in, head bowed, with his dad's world's greatest trucker hat in hand, symbolically signaling that his dad is dead. At the funeral, we see Muscle Man visibly grieving his father's death. Now, I want to take a second to point out, his dad died by making a bear sit on a cactus. This may have been the decision that cost him his life, but I'd argue that it's probably not even top 5 worst decisions he's made. So through the pain and tears, Muscle Man vows to spread his dad's hat ashes at the Trucker Hall of Fame, a place for die-hard truckers who put in the time and sweat equity to be there. On top of it all, He's doing this all on Father's Day. So Muscle Man, Mordecai, and Rigby hop in the rusted lemon that is Muscle Man's car and head out on a road trip to the Trucker Hall of Fame. While on the journey, we see just how unhinged Muscle Man truly is. Bad news sends him into episodes that put him and people around him at risk. He can be set off by the smallest things. It isn't until he's reminiscing on the cherished moments of his dad that he actually finds emotional relief. He goes through the memories of being pranked by his father in some of the most evil and immature ways. Things like exploding soda cans, ruining his and his prom date's formal attire, and filling his brother's pinata with scorpions. These pranks are all heavily at the expense of Muscle Man and his brother, but he views them with the thickest rose-colored lenses money can buy. His dad was such a big influence on him. He'd even check in on him over CB radio when he was out trucking. I assume he was on the road pretty heavy, since some of Muscle Man's fondest memories of him are just his voice over the radio. So the guys pull over at a truck stop just 100 miles away from the Hall of Fame. While Muscle Man's in the bathroom, Mordecai and Rigby are told by some seasoned truckers that Muscle Dad was never really a trucker at all. He was a forklift driver who loaded up the cargo for the real truckers. Muscle Man overhears this and objects with photographic proof that his dad is the real deal, only for the proof to be disproven in a matter of seconds. This moment ultimately shatters those rose-colored lenses Muscle Man's been accustomed to. He's sent on an emotion-filled downward spiral that leads him to lash out at the picture of his father, that same picture that he's cherished throughout his childhood. Breaking the frame reveals a handwritten note from his muscle dad. The note is a confession that's so on the nose it's almost criminal. The note spells out Muscle Man finding out about his dad's lie, causing him to freak out. One of the most brazen lines of the letter is how he words his apology. He says, I'm sorry for pranking you all these years, especially about being a trucker. To call lying about your job and where you go for an extended period of time a prank feels like an understatement. He then goes on to reason that this was all to toughen up his son because the world is so harsh. We also get a scene of Muscle Dad writing the letter at his actual job while being bossed around by the truckers, giving us this idea that he's supposed to be the underdog or little guy. But I don't buy that and I'll explain why soon. So in his apology letter, he asks Muscle Man to still spread his hat ashes as his final prank. Muscle Man gives a somewhat conflicting response, saying he wasn't even a trucker, but he's still his dad so he'll do it. So the guys go to the Trucker Hall of Fame, but are met by security who refuse them entry because surprise surprise, Muscle Dad didn't actually earn his way into the Hall of Fame. Upon being rejected, Muscle Man goes into a confession about how he is also a screw-up just like his father. He then goes on to say that the only thing they were both good at was pranking, which is a lie, but I'll let it slide. He's now been fueled with the power of pranking to complete the mission. The guys slide their car through the Hall of Fame gates and start barreling towards the top of the mountain. On the way, they're being chased by all the true Hall of Famers who passed on. They narrowly avoid having the real Hall of Famers steal the hat ashes and make it to the top of the mountain where they throw the entire urn over the edge. This act summons Muscle Dad, allowing him to have one last heart-to-heart -heart with his son. 
He explains he lied to him all of his life because he wanted him to be proud of his job. Muscle Man accepts the apology and his father holds off the ghost truckers using his forklift, allowing the guys to escape. On the way home, Muscle Man divulges some personal information to a couple sleeping slackers. He tells them that he sees them as true friends, but was never taught an alternate or, dare I say, healthier way to express that, aside from pranking and insulting them. That's all his dad taught him. And that sentiment is really the saddest part about all of this. You see, Muscle Dad didn't really help his son build character skills. So much of what Muscle Dad was involved in was much more of an ego boost or one-sided exchange in favor of Muscle Dad. Take for instance, lying about being a trucker. If he wanted his son to be proud of his profession, why didn't he take pride in his profession? I understand a kid won't see every job as cool, but I'm sure lying about being something you're not to impress your child is much more damaging than being upfront and honest. I'd also assume Muscle Man and his brother understood what a truck driver's job entails. So that means to sell that he was truly a trucker, there were only two options. He'd either have to stay away for days or weeks at a time to sell the idea that he's a real over the road trucker or tell his kids that he's a local trucker who comes home every night. Which doesn't really have that much allure since local truckers basically just deliver to restaurants and grocery stores. The local trucker lie could have been the case because it's stated by Muscle Man in the episode Power Tower. Every day, I go with them to the Power Tower and watch them lift weights. Every day. But if that is not the case, then thinking about committing to a lie like over the road trucking just melts my brain. So many memories and important conversations that Muscle Man had with his dad were probably over the radio when they didn't have to be. He missed a part of his son's life so he could be viewed in a certain way, and that's inexcusable. Now, back to the real truckers and how they're portrayed. The episode paints them as bullies and jerks, but I don't know if I believe that here. If you get down to the motive, these guys are taking trips overnight or longer, delivering freight, only to find Muscle Dad in their very expensive trucks, playing with their equipment when he's supposed to be loading up cargo. Remember how he'd sneak into our rigs and call himself in a fake voice? They've got a schedule to keep, and that schedule relies on Muscle Dad to be present and attentive. Muscle Dad's persona and addiction to pranking makes me believe he wouldn't have been the most reliable or enjoyable co-worker, and that shows. So when the ghost truckers are attempting to stop Muscle Man from spreading those ashes at the Hall of Fame, I'm on their side. This is a sacred place for a community of people who've decided to dedicate their lives to the profession. To waltz in and throw your dad's hat ashes is extremely disrespectful and justifies the response. But my biggest issue was, why didn't his father, Muscle Dad, become a trucker? I mean, his oldest son became one. The work to become a trucker isn't that difficult. You just need your CDL. I even have a CDL and I don't even like trucking. Since no reason is given, I can only assume that he was either unable to afford the classes, which would be unfortunate, unable to pass the classes, which would be a lot less unfortunate and much more on him, or he didn't care to try, which honestly feels just as likely. Whatever the reason, honesty in this situation would have gone much further in his son's development than lying. I want to call him a terrible father, but I'm conflicted. He's not a terrible father because he didn't care about his kids. In fact, he seems like he cared a lot. In later episodes, we see the thoughtfulness of letters left as tokens of posthumous advice and encouragement to Muscle Man to read in times of need. It's a tradition between the two of them so important that Muscle Man halted his wedding because of it. So I don't think he's an awful father for not caring, but he did set an awful example in maintaining integrity and on how to express emotion and kindness. At the end of the day, I can't decide what to call him. Him lying to his kids for so long does not justify forgiveness for me. And maybe if he led by example more, Muscle Man would be a better version of himself. But who knows? That's all I got on this one. Is Muscle Dad the type of dad you'd want? Let me know in the comments. And if you made it this far, take the time to drop a like and subscribe. Your support helps the channel grow and keeps you up to date on my videos. And I know I told some of you a Daria episode was coming, but I had to drop this one for Father's Day. I promise it's still on the way. Till next time, see ya.